Hi, I'm Lou with another episode of My Car Story. <laughs> I'm here with Art Swanson. Art, good to see you. Yes, sir. Good to see you. Thanks. And Art has some amazing cars. Today, we're going to show you two of his 41 Cadillacs. But Art, how many do you have? Three. So I wanted to show these two because, first of all, I love the color. What color do we have today? That's blue. I love the blue cars. Antoinette blue. Antoinette blue. Good to know. And then we're going to have the convertible and the hardtop. And the hardtop's a fastback. Yes. So let me grab the cameras I usually do. So Art, first of all, which one of these two cars did you end up with first? Well, the first one was the two-door fastback hardtop. Okay. And that one I found in Iola. Okay. Uh, it was for sale in the car corral. All right. And I love that body stuff. And I saw that car and I ran over there and right away, it was the first day of the show. It goes for three days. And I asked them, how much? Well, okay, I, I, I like the car. And I went back twice a day, for every day. <laughs> said, Did you sell it yet? Well, no, I didn't sell it yet. On the last day of the show, and everybody was packing up to leave, I went back to the car, it was gone. Oh boy. And uh, I asked the guy, did you sell it? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. <laughs> did you get what you wanted for it? And he said, no, but he'll be back. Well, you know, sometimes you just know things. Yeah. And I knew that he would not be back. Okay. So I gave the seller my car and I said if this all doesn't work out the way you'd like it call me at this number on Monday when you're leaving to go to Tennessee and uh, we'll make a deal and my phone rang on Monday and Tuesday it was in my parking lot in the <laughs> shop there in St. Charles. Good for you. Had it all since. How about the Cadillac, the, the convertible Cadillac? Where, how did that one come about? Well, whose, whose car is that? That's Margie's car. <laughs> that's your wife's car. Oh, absolutely. So once you got you got the, the fastback, she said, I need a convertible. Oh no, she needed one all the time anyway, but <laughs> ran across an ad with, yeah. a, with a picture. And uh, she said, oh, look at that, you know, and I said, okay, call up. He gave him a call. Well, it turned out the car was in the West Coast in California. Yeah. And uh, so, but she was really interested, and I asked the guy the price, and it was acceptable, considering that those things are horrific on the market. Yeah. Uh, and so, Meantime, my son is a captain for Southwest Airlines, so yeah. I got a free ticket on the rate on the airplane. Wonderful. Rolled out, saw the car, drove it, finished the deal, and found somebody with a closed encoder to haul the car, and I had it brought from California to St. Charles. And came to work one Monday morning, and there the truck was parked, and they were sleeping in the back. How did Marge feel when she saw her car? Oh, she was. <laughs> I'm excited too. Oh, yeah. Well, let's let's go right over to the cars. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's... She allowed me back in the house again, so it was it was nice. <laughs> you earned your keep. <laughs> All right. And there's so the his and hers cars. Yep. Now, why the 41s out of all the cars in the world? Well, when I was a pup, I'm gonna when get. When I was this. a pup, I worked at gas stations, and. Uh, is that how you met Marge? It, no, oh no, this is a long time before that. I, these were brand new cars in 41. Yeah, come on with me. And uh, I, we had a customer that had a 41 black two-door fastback. And this was in the Grange. And uh, he was a, a very regular and very well-heeled customer at our gas station. So he got, of course, this was in the days of of service where you wiped windshields and checked oil and did all these other things while people were buying gas. Yeah. And uh, and this guy that had this black 41, he also had a pretty daughter. And all I can say is he had the cleanest windshield. <laughs> you gave a little extra service. Oh yes, absolutely. But uh, I like them. I like them because they're smooth, quiet. Uh, they're great to drive, and uh, I like that V8 Cadillac engine. Yeah. So 
so it just was your car and now I see and the beauty that we've got the two of them we've got the light here and we'll see on the fastback which we'll show you the fastback we've got the kind of what, what is that considered an emblem or a yeah, grill plate or it, it's a it's a blocking plate blocking because plate. Uh, otherwise you could order it with uh, fog lights in those openings in the fender okay as we have in the in the convertible well and, and what do they call yeah. this series 62 for both of these or yes the okay. convertible is a series 62 but the 60 the, the fastback two-door hardtop yeah is a 61 series okay and so, that car the 61 series was kind of the substitute for cadillac okay for lasalle okay so when they phased out with Sal, then they came out with the 61 series to replace it. Got it. So the 61 series is, we'll just say, a little bit less just a than, tad. than the 62. Yes. Okay. All right. Let's take a look at the backs of both of them. We're going to take a look at the interiors because they're, they're different as well. And I'll start with the convertible. There's our back. There, I'm going to do this just because of the sun. I'm going yep. to do that. Yep. And then I'm going to feature our fast break. Art, show me the fun part about this tail light. So it's not only kind of this jewelry piece, but that's where the gas goes in, like so. That's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. A lot of people don't know where to put the gas in. Yeah, I was one of them. <laughs> so come on with, we'll take a look at the back of your fastback. And that's a pretty picture. That's just beautiful. And we've got the pieces here. Let me feature the interiors. All right, I'm going to open this, okay? Yes. I'll take my and we've got this seat out of the way. Big door here, as you can see. And the interior is wonderful. We've got some wood paneling here, and the Cadillac seat adjuster. The seats move up accordingly. Let's take a look at the back window. A wonderful headliner. This wonderful look out the front. Look at that wonderful grill emblem in the center of that. Looks like a big paperweight. So this is the the temperature cell. So. That's the the whole heater and trying fresh to, air control. Trying to wait for it to catch up. Give me just a second. I'll see if I can get it to. There we go. Like that so. controls the heat and the fresh air. The heat and the fresh air. And then we've got, just trying to block some of the sun there. And being a Cadillac, it's a wonderful, I'm gonna get that little badge right there. And the clutch, and our turn signal stock, and our Stick shift and the radio. With the radio. With the vacuum antenna. Vacuum antenna. And the ashtray. See how that works? Like so. Pushes out. And your. I'm assuming this is the lighter. Yes. Your clock. Your split window. Let's uh. Let's pop the hood, shall we? What, 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 you know what we'll do is this. We'll uh, let me do the interior on this one. <clears throat> You'll see on the interior here we've got the back seat looks a little bit different, obviously, because it looks like that. And I wanted to just see if I could feature that there. You can see how the back seat is, and the top here. Now you'll see the same kind of steering wheel. Little different, little different here. A 
interior. A little different radio. And like so. This big area in here. And the wonderful blood grain. Now, the other one had kind of a, almost a mohair-like feel. And this one has kind of the flavor of leather all wrapped throughout it, as you can see. So that's definitely, that's definitely different. Okay, we're gonna open up the engine compartment. And as we do that, here's the beautiful hood ornament and the Cadillac logo, and that hood ornament is actually functional where you lift up on that, and then you lift up here, and lift up at the same time to lift that up. If I can lift that up. You know what, I'm not getting, am I not grabbing that right? It's like under here, isn't it? Yeah, but it's hard to get your fingers in there. It is hard to get your fingers in there. That's why I have this. You want me to pull this up a little more? Yeah, but. Need a screwdriver or something? Yeah, I've got it somewhere. There it is. Now, let me finagle this so I don't bark up something. All right. Okay. All right, now, now try to lift it. There we go. I think, nope, not yet. Now, lift yep, now. We there we go. go. It's yeah. a two-man job. That was a two-man job, but well worth it. All right. We have a six volt system. Thanks, Art. And you can see how this all configures here. I want to show the all important badge right there that you could see, showing the years and the details. Now, this engine, this would lose points at a show because this engine is painted blue. Ah. And the Cadillac engines were painted sort of a tow truck, tow truck green. Okay only. Now that one was painted blue, which is wrong, and I was going to repaint it. My wife said, don't you dare. That's my favorite <laughs> color. <laughs> and you're seeing the radiators open here, which this controls that, the vents that are open. And the other one has, does the other one have the engine the correct color? Yeah. Okay, let's go take a look at that then. You want to put this down? Uh, let's keep it up just because when we're going to start it, I want to show people. <laughs> I'll help you with the hood on this one too. This one's a little easier. There we go. There's the color we were talking about. Yeah, dirty green. Dirty <laughs> green. Ar Army green. Yep. That was the standard color. Oh, the wires coming off. Our all important tag there. And I'll get to the other side. All right, let's start this one up. An interesting exhaust manifold on top, as you can see. And it comes around and comes out this asbestos here, like so. Let's hear what the 41 Cadillac sounds like. Even the wonderful little ornamentation here. Wonderful logo on the hood. That's smooth. Yeah, yeah that's wonderfully smooth. Sure. <laughs> then we'll get a little exhaust note there. Let's shut this one down, and we're going to start the other one. Although they're going to sound very similar. Yeah, they will. <laughs> but we'll do it just but in case looks, somebody says. It's different because it's got blue paint. It's got the blue paint different, sure. <laughs> Hopefully, I won't have a hot spot.
like the blue one. Art, we're gonna keep this one going so we can drive right back. Art, thanks so much okay. for being on my car story. What a treat with the 241s. <laughs> well, <laughs> okay. <laughs> thanks so much. Oh, my pleasure. After all,